Sir Barristan tracks down Daenerys Targaryen to Astapor in Slaver's Bay, where he saves her from an assassination attempt by a member of the Warlocks of Kar, preventing a Matakor from harming her. Sir Jorah identifies him to the young queen, and Selmy quickly bows to proclaim his loyalty to her, explaining that in serving her, he hopes to make amends for his failure to protect her family in Robert's rebellion. Declaring that she is the rightful queen of the Seven Kingdoms, he asks to serve in her queen's guard. As Daenerys prepares to negotiate for the purchase of Astapor's Unsullied, Barristan strongly argues against using slave soldiers as dishonorable. Jorah is in favor of using them, but Barristan retorts that when Daenerys's older brother Rhaegar led his army in the Battle of the Trident, men fought and died for Rhaegar because they believed in him, because they loved him, not because they were slave soldiers whose free will had been stripped away. Jorah responds that Rhaegar indeed fought honorably and nobly, but that in the end Rhaegar died. Daenerys was born months after Robert Baratheon killed Rhaegar at the Battle of the Trident, and only knew her cruel and half-mad brother Viserys, so she asks Sir Barristan if he knew Rhaegar. As a member of the Kingsguard at the time, Barristan knew Rhaegar well. He fought beside him and bled beside him at the Trident. Barristan says that Rhaegar was the finest man he ever met, the last dragon. Daenerys grows quiet and says she wishes she'd known her older brother, but that Rhaegar was not the last dragon, she is. Later, when Daenerys agrees to give the good masters her largest dragon in exchange for the Unsullied, Sir Barristan openly protests, begging her to win Westeros back with dragons, not slaves. Daenerys ignores him and completes the transaction. As they depart, the furious queen tells Barristan and Jorah that while she values their advice, they will be advising someone else if they question her in public again. Sir Barristan is present when Daenerys receives custody of the Unsullied and observes her betrayal of the good masters, including the immolation of Krasnys and orders the Unsullied to slaughter the slavers and free the slaves. He survives the subsequent sack of Astapor and is overjoyed when the recently freed Unsullied agree to continue serving Daenerys. Along with Jorah Mormont and Masande, Sir Barristan rides out of the city at her side. As the Targaryen host marches towards Yunkai, Sir Barristan and Jorah ride together and discuss a variety of topics. Barristan admits that Robert was a good man and a good warrior, but a terrible king. Barristan explains that a man of honor must keep his vows no matter what, whether he's serving a drunk or a lunatic. Barristan also explains that Robert never trusted him to do anything more than protect him, hence Barristan was barred from small council meetings, though the Lord Commander is usually the small council's military attaché. Sir Barristan is present when Daenerys and Jorah gather reconnaissance on the Second Sons and confirms that their presence will pose a problem. He later presents the Second Sons captains Mero the Titan's Bastard, Prendal N. A. Gezon, and Dario Naharis to the Queen. He is incensed at the captain's attitude towards Daenerys during the meeting, but holds his tongue as per her instructions. When the captains leave, Daenerys tells Barristan that if they must fight the Second Sons, he is to kill Mero first. Sir Barristan responds that it would be his pleasure. When Dario Naharis, Grey Worm, and Sir Jorah Mormont plan to infiltrate Yunkai, Sir Barristan offers his assistance. Jorah advises him to stay behind and protect Daenerys, as he is a member of her Queen's Guard. Sir Barristan is present alongside Daenerys when the group returns victorious and when she is welcomed of the freed slaves, who name her, Wysa, Old Giscari for, Mother.